वेलकम बैक टू टेकी जैक एज पर द रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ फ्यू मेम्बर्स आस्किंग फॉर द फ्रेश इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ एक्सचेंज सर्वर 2025 ट्वेंटी फाइव सब्सक्रिप्शन एडिशन ऑन विंडोज सर्वर ट्वेंटी इन केस दे आर स्टार्टिंग ए न्यू डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑफ एक्सचेंज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन इंस्टॉल एक्सचेंज ट्वेंटी एज ए फ्रेश इंस्टॉल टू द न्यू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लेट्स हैव ए क्विक लुक ऑन अवर एनवायरमेंट सो हेयर वी हैव ए डोमेन कंट्रोलर विद द आई पी ऑफ वन नाइन्टी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट टू डॉट वन जीरो थ्री एंड द एक्टिव डायरेक्ट्री डोमेन आई एम यूजिंग हेयर इज माई टेकी जैक डॉट कॉम एंड द अदर सर्वर इज फॉर द एक्सचेंज सर्वर द नेम ऑफ द एक्सचेंज इज एक्सचेंज जीरो वन एंड द आई पी इज वन जीरो फाइव सो लेट्स गो टू द सर्वर एंड गेट स्टार्टेड सो राइट नाउ वी आर ऑन अवर सर्वर दिस इज अवर एक्सचेंज सर्वर यू कैन सी द नेम एंड इट इज ज्वाइंट विद द डोमेन दैट एक्सचेंज जीरो वन डॉट माई टेकी जैक डॉट कॉम गाइज इफ यू डोंट नो हाउ टू इंस्टॉल द एक्टिव डायरेक्ट्री एंड हाउ टू कन्फिगर द डी एन एस आई विल पुट द लिंक इन ए डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर द वीडियोज विच विल हेल्प यू टू इंस्टॉल द एक्टिव डायरेक्ट्री एंड सेट अप द डी एन एस एज वेल आई ऑलरेडी हैव द एक्टिव डायरेक्ट्री इन प्लेस एंड द कंप्यूटर इज ज्वाइन टू द डोमेन दैट इज माई टेकी जैक डॉट कॉम If you go to the internet and search for the Exchange Server download, here you will get the first link for download Exchange Server subscription edition, and you can download this. I already have downloaded this to save the time, so we have the ISO file here. We have some requirement for the Active Directory server as well and for the Exchange Server as well. So we have to run those prerequisites first, and then we can install the Exchange. Let's go to the our DC machine. This is my DC. If we search for the Exchange Server 2025 prerequisites, we have this link. So let me open this. The supported version for Exchange Server subscription edition, you can install it on these three operating system like Windows Server 2019, 2022, and 25 as well. And for the management tools, you can install the management tools for Exchange on these operating system. So here we have a Active Directory requirement for Exchange 2025. If you are using Windows Server 2022 you need the .NET 4.8 and if you are using Windows Server 2025 you need .NET Framework 4.8.1 along with this Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2012 and 2013 also you need to install the remote server administration tool that is rset and you can install it with this commandlet so these are the requirement on our active directory server If you need to install the Exchange Mailbox Server role, you need the supported version of .NET. Like if you are using Windows Server 2025, you need 4.8.1. Or else, if you are using the older version of Windows Server, then you need .NET Framework 4.8 along with these two redistributables and Server Media Foundation, Unified Communication Managed API, IIS URL Rewrite Module. And in the desktop environment, we have to install these features as well. And for the Or we have this feature. Messaging queue is no longer a requirement for Exchange Server now. So if you want, you can remove it if it is already installed. Either you can download it manually and install this software before proceeding with the Exchange installation, or else you can run the script to make the process fast and easy. Let me close this now. To prepare the Active Directory server, I have a script here, AD prerequisites, and I am going to run this script. to install the requirement features and the softwares so let me quickly run this and prepare my active directory domain controller for the exchange installation so i will open the powershell i will navigate to the script folder and i will run this script let me hit enter and you can see the dotnet 4.8 or newer already installed so it is skipping it and installing the visual c++ and it says r set addds is already installed so it's skipping and all ad prerequisites handled successfully so our ad prerequisites are done let's move to the exchange and install the prerequisites on exchange server as well let me go to the exchange i will minimize this and inside the exchange also i have the script inside my c drive in the script folder that is final exchange prerequisites so let's open the powershell i will navigate to the script folder and will run this script it will install all the prerequisites automatically if we see here right now we have this installed here you can see installing c++ 
2012 and 2013 so if we refresh it here you can see 2013 is there now and it will install all the other prerequisites though we have a all-in-one script which can install the prerequisites and prepare the active directory and extend the schema and after that it will install the exchange automatically but as this is a fresh installation i'm just installing the prerequisites and will prepare the active directory and extend the schema manually so let's wait until the script get completed now you can see all prerequisites handled successfully and it installed the requirement software if i refresh it here you can see we have all the softwares required for the exchange installation. So our prerequisites has been completed successfully on this exchange server. Let me close this. So now we can mount our ISO that is in a download. Let me mount it. So let me click on open and now it is mounted. So if you see here in this PC, we have exchange ISO in a E drive and I have written the post here. Here we have the commands which we can run to prepare the schema. So I will copy this command from here. Let's open the command prompt and I will navigate to the E drive. I will paste the command here and will hit enter. Now it's copying the files, performing the prerequisite analysis and you can see it is completed and now it's extending the active directory schema. Extending of active directory schema has been completed. Let's go and run this commandlet for preparing the AD. Here it says organization name. You have to change your organization name here. I copied that here and I changed the organization name as my techie jack. Let's copy this and paste it here and hit enter. Here it gives us a warning that you will not be able to install any exchange server 2016 role after this. So we don't need that. We are just trying to install 2025 version. It's preparing the organization. Once this is done, we will prepare the domain. Let me copy the command for that as well. It's completed now. Let's run the command to prepare the all domain as well. So our all domain preparation also have been completed. So we have installed our prerequisites. We have extended the active directory schema, prepared the organization and all domain. Now we are good to install the exchange server 2025. Though we can install the exchange mailbox role with the help of command itself. I'm just closing this and we will do that in a graphical way to show you the experience. Here we have this setup and I will run this as administrator and click on run. I will close this. Now the exchange 2025 subscription edition installation has been started. It's initializing the setup and now it says next. I agree the license term. Click on next again. We will select the mailbox role and automatically install Windows Server role. Click on next. Next again. And now it's configuring the prerequisites. Once it passed the prerequisites, then it will install the exchange. So now you can see prerequisite analysis has been completed 100%. That means our script ran successfully. We are good with our all prerequisites and now we can install the exchange. So let me hit on install and now it will start the process of installation while it is installing. I would like to tell you that please check the description for Active Directory installation on Server 2025, configuring DNS PTR record and web link for the Exchange Prerequisites script. Now finalizing the setup. Now you can see our Exchange Server has been installed on our Windows Server 2025 thanks to the automated prerequisite script that helps to install Exchange without any errors. So after a restart, let's try to log in to the Exchange Admin Center. It's asking to save the credentials and let me select my time zone and click on save. And you can see we are successfully logged into our Exchange Admin Center. So we have successfully installed our Exchange Server 2025 SC on Windows Server 2025. I hope you found the video informative. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.